Marriage is love. It's commitment. It's joy. It's understanding. It's patience. It's anger. It's reconciliation. It's everything. It's like oatmeal. It sustains you. My husband is a hot piece of ass, but he is so much more than just that. Raymond Holt is as smart as anyone in this department, but he chooses to use his intelligence to make our city a better place. One day, I hope to live up to the standard you set. You make me want to have a wetter brain. Oh, Kevin. Y'all are hella specific. Better get some corticosteroids to treat that laryngeal fracture. Sorry, I couldn't bring myself to call him a dirt bag. Then why would you? A dirt bag is a very useful part of the vacuum cleaner. Clearly, it's a compliment. You guys are so perfect for each other. So nice of you to stop by, Kevin. Enjoy your day. I hope it's productive. Thank you, Raymond. I hope your day is productive as well. PDA in the office? My, my. Couldn't help myself. Hmm. Check it out, sir. A lovely gift basket that Kevin sent you all the way from Paris. Straight from Paris! Stapler. Scissors. Rubber bands. That man really knows me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jake. You're welcome, Kevin. Call me Kev. Oh. All right. Oh, he told you to say that, didn't he? Well, you are always playing pranks on me, Raymond. Just once, let me be the funny one. <sighs> so I made Kevin this. It's warm. It's a croque monsieur. Kevin and I shared one on a rainy afternoon in Paris on our first anniversary. It's one of our most treasured memories. I'm sure it's not up to your standards, but Kevin seemed to enjoy it. Settle a little tiff that Kevin and I are having. Let's be honest, Raymond, it's not a tiff, it's a row. And now it's a scene. I was lightly stabbed. I'm sorry. You were stabbed? Lightly stabbed. I didn't want to frighten you. I was in pain and frustrated about lying to the men I love. Kevin. Yes. Obviously, Kevin. Why'd you do it? Because it's disgusting. Oh, my. That pie is an abomination. It has beef suet and apple seeds in it. Why? It's a walnut pie. If we brought that to my family's house, they would have said something. I was trying to protect you. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? <sighs> because I love our annual trips to Saratoga Springs. The two of us driving in silence, looking at the barren trees, it's perfect, eh? I didn't want to lose that. Sorry. I don't know why we can't still make the drive next year. We just don't have to buy the pie. A trip with no purpose? Raymond. Kevin, they're not coming. Yes, I know you've already started soaking the rice. Couldn't we just eat it ourselves? I understand you purchased four portions of rice. Yes. That's a great idea. We'll eat the extra rice for breakfast. I love you as well.